Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Hulkbuster, the new Hulkbuster. And it's a thing. It's a thing. When it first got announced, I think most of the sentiment was $60? What? And then the other sentiment was, yay, a Hulkbuster that's awesome. And so, you know, it's, it's one of those things. It's like Hasbro shoots themselves in the foot by having these things that are way too expensive. Uh, but then they can also make products that are good, but too expensive, and then ones that are bad, but too expensive. Where does this one fall is the question. Well, I think it's somewhere in the middle, probably. There's some good stuff here for sure, and then some stuff that's not so good, and we're going to talk about all of it. So let's go ahead and get them off the stand and take a closer look. All right, before we get into the figure, I do want to show you my package. It's the new packaging, nice and square edges, no problems there. Yeah, maybe it's a little drab, but I think it's fine, and the figure looks fine in the package. Nice front and center. No real problem. I like it. I don't like the fact that they separated his chest, his upper torso, two separate pieces. I'm guessing to keep the box slightly thinner, but almost none, so I don't really get it. That's a little bit weird. I think it would have looked way nicer for those of you who want to display him to have his chest on him. So that's a bit of a bummer. Some artwork on the side and back, which we're definitely going to reference because uh, it's a key point in this review. But otherwise, it's a pretty decent package for those of you inbox collectors. I'm going to leave it close to me so I can grab it for reference. All right, so this guy is available at Big Bad Toy Store. There's a link in the description below if you want to get one. Uh, he stands 24 centimeters. That makes him just about, we'll call it nine and a half inches. That's pretty darn close. All right, so scaling wise, he's got some size to him. And there he is up against a Darwin. So he's he's sufficiently large, I would say. Could he be a little bigger? Probably. Uh, but it's fine. If you had a person in there, uh, I mean, using comic physics, it's definitely doable. So I think that's, that's okay. Um, I don't have the Marvel Select one to compare against, guys. I never got one, and it's not available readily right now. So I don't have one to compare against. And then the old Marvel Legends one, the Legendary Riders one, uh, I don't have that handy, and it's not really a helpful comparison because it's a little bit of a different style, but I mean, that one was a regular priced figure. This is 60 bucks. So anyway, let's dive into this review considering that it is 60 bucks. Let's do a question of the day. Do you guys think it's worth 60 bucks? And do you think it's a good figure that's overpriced or it's just because of the price point, it doesn't matter unless it's like a really good figure. It's just too much and not worth getting. Let me know what you guys think. So I'm going to say right off the bat, it's too expensive for what it is. Hasbro needs to do a lot better than this for $60. But that aside, if we're going to just accept the price as what it is, which is what we have to do for all the Marvel Legends reviews, is it good on its own? Good enough to be worth collecting? Hope, let me. Do you guys understand what I'm saying by something being too expensive but still worth owning versus being too expensive and therefore it's not worth owning? Uh, it's, it's a weird topic. I don't know how to describe it quickly and succinctly, so we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is it's just... It's not, it's not that. It's not right. His torso is not the right shape at all. It's not even close. Look how big and bulky his torso is here. And look at how skinny his torso is here. Look how big his head is compared to the rest of his body. Whereas on this, it's not even close. Like it's it's like half the torso. Whereas on this, it's like a tiny, tiny fraction. So that's that's my biggest complaint on this guy. Uh, it's just not even close to the right bulkiness. The torso needs to be way bigger. Look how wide that is compared to the head. Whereas on here, it's it's tiny. So that's unfortunate. That being said. Uh, the rest of it's pretty darn accurate and pretty good looking. I don't know why they made the torso tiny, but otherwise it's a solid looking piece. I have one main gripe is that uh, this looks like butts. Freaking painted. This is painted. Look at how there's not swirlies in it. And then this isn't. That juxtaposition drives me insane. Especially since this is painted up here. This is painted, this is painted. There's lots of painted spots on him that look way better than this piece, which is front and center and swirly as all heck. That drives me nuts. I would have been okay if it was just the red parts swirly. They're not super noticeable, it's fine. It has that glossy semi-metallic look, it's fine, whatever. But they needed to paint the gold here and here. Especially here, that is just so ugly compared to how good it would have been if it was painted. 
Now frankly, these parts should all be painted too. That's where we come back to the price point. If this was a $40 figure even, just a standard deluxe from Hasbro, fine, whatever. But at 60 bucks, you better bring it, and they didn't. Uh, as far as other painting things go, we do have some silver painted, which looks nice. I'm glad that they did some painting in there, and there on the armpit too. But then down here, it's just uh, swirly plastic, not even a wash or anything. So they put minimal effort into it. There's some, there's some more silver there, some more nice gold. Like there is some, even on the back. Thank goodness they put a little bit of paint on the back to not make it look like crap. Um, it's fine, I would say. The paint job definitely needs more paint, but it does look okay. So if, you, if you're not bothered by the swirly stuff, it's, it's definitely good enough. Let me put it that way. Um, good enough to have in your collection. It's just grossly overpriced for not having that. They didn't even paint anything on the hands. Like, I guess those don't have to be opened up as repulsors, but I'm pretty sure he can shoot out of his hands as Hulkbuster in this version. I'm pretty sure, maybe not, I could be wrong. Does he only punch? Seems unlikely. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine. It's just because they had to hike their price point up, it has to be judged harder. And a harsher judgment means it's there's not enough. Like, this is nice. It's better than just being bare red plastic. So it helps these little guys are painted. There is just enough to be like, okay, it's fine for my collection. But pairing that with the small chest, it's unfortunate. It's going to be good enough. And I'm sure most people are enjoying it. And that's good. That's fine. It is good enough. But it should be more for the money. So I'm just going to say 7 out of 10 for the aesthetic. It's almost there. Even if it was they kept the small chest but did a really nice paint job, wonderful, fine, that's that's fine. Um, but it just doesn't have that, so that's that's unfortunate. Now, as far as accessories go, we do have the alternate head, so you can pop this head off, which, by the way, is way too easy because it fits on this ball peg, but once you get the torso pieces on, it just barely fits. So all you can do is swivel it at all. You can't do anything else with it, which isn't a big deal, but then you can put this head on, which... I don't know. I don't like it. I mean, I get it, but I would never display it like that. Are you guys a Hulkbuster with Iron Man heads showing type of group? I am certainly not. It's a fine head sculpt. It's probably a little bit big, honestly, but uh, it's decent. It's well done. No complaints there. I'll never not have the helmet on, but you have that option. And then you get some fist hands. So you get some weird, not grippy, not clenchy hands, and then some fist hands. So it's like, it's just acceptable. At 60 bucks, it's really not. But we already established it's too expensive, so is it just acceptable for a collectible in its own right? And I think not really. 5 out of 10 for the accessories. It's something, but not enough. Okay, let's talk about the articulation. Like I mentioned, you really just get the swivel for the Hulkbuster head, which I'm fine with. But it would have been nice if there was a little bit of extra. A little something. They could have given a little bit of extra in there, I think. But you'd get a ball peg for the neck and then a double ball peg for the head, which is... Almost worthless also for the Tony Stark head, so basically nothing. Swivel will suffice. It would have been nice if they gave us a little extra, though. All right, these guys move independently of the shoulders. That's a really good thing. I'm glad they did that. The shoulders, not quite to horizontal, so that's unfortunate. Oh, also, the torso loves to pop apart. I don't know why they did that. You get your full rotation there, no problem there. That's fine. There goes the head again. All right. Bicep swivel is fine, but they go really high up on the shoulder. The bicep goes way up there, so when the arms are down, you're not posing it really. You're not going to get to do too much. Single jointed elbow, which gets you about 90. It's fine. Nothing, nothing special. This piece doesn't rotate at all, so as you move the hand, you're just stuck fighting against this forearm piece, which is not ideal. I always like to see these kind of pieces rotate with the hand so that you can have some more posing options. Oh, they didn't paint the inside. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, that would have cost too much, guys. That one extra little spot of silver would have cost them way too much. All right, so the arms are just there. They don't have a bunch of range, but it's probably okay. Torso is not bad. As you go side to side, though, you're gonna split apart his chest because they made it a separate piece for no real reason, other than they probably wanna be able to easily reuse this body for something else like an alternate version or something, maybe, or maybe it's just weird, I don't know, hard to say, but, oh, there goes the head again. Okay, so it's okay in the torso, it's nothing crazy, but it's Hulkbuster, so it's probably fine. Waist twist is there, so that's fine. For the hips, you can bring them that far forward. They don't go very far forward. Going back, you don't get anything. Going out to the side, it's 
Not bad. It's actually pretty darn good for, for the splits. That's all right. You do get your big old thigh swivel right there, which is a good way of doing it. That's fine. Not being able to bring the legs farther forward is annoying, but it's not the worst thing in the world. And then for the knees, we have a double jointed knee. Oh man, that lower one is tight. Really tight. It gets good range, really good range. So that's fine for the knees. There we go. All right, and then for the ankles, these guys are like floating pieces basically. They don't really do much. But for the ankle itself, it goes pretty far back, pretty far forward, and the ankle rocker is decent. I thought it was gonna be a ball hinge, but it's not. But the ankle rocker is actually solid, so that's good. So his articulation is sufficient. It could easily be a lot better than it is, which is unfortunate. There it goes, torso's dis disconnected again. Uh, it could be better than it is for sure. And at 60 bucks, it should be. At 60 bucks, he should be able to raise his arms and lean forward and kick higher. But it is fine, I'll give it, for this design, a seven. It's acceptable. So, time for the final verdict. Is this the best figure ever? Definitely not. Is it definitely too expensive? Definitely. Is it okay though? Yes, it'll be okay. If you're not worried about the price, it's definitely a fine collection, collectible collection edition, whatever you want to call it. It needs paint. If you paint it, it's gonna be excellent. Then you really only have to worry about the torso, upper torso being too small. But otherwise it's there. So like, I'm not thrilled with it, but I'm not super disappointed. I think at this point, people who are collecting legends have just accepted everything's too much money, which is super unfortunate because once you do that, they're gonna keep making things cost too much. I don't think this is worth it. And I know a lot of you are gonna ask me, what do you think about the Sentinels for 175 bucks? I think it's gonna be the same thing as this. I think they're gonna be too expensive for what they are. Hasbro doesn't put enough effort into their figures to command these prices. I think the prices are accurate if they put that effort in. That's how they're getting away with it. People don't care that they're not doing the effort. It's a really, really weird thing. If this guy was painted better, 60 bucks easy. No problem at all. But since it's not, and since it doesn't have that articulation, it's just not worth it. But they've got people in that mindset that, well, if it was good, it would be worth it. But they're not, that's the problem. So yeah, I don't know. Like the Sentinel, I'm guessing, I'm, I'm betting right now, once that comes out, I'm gonna have the same thing to say. It's perfectly fine, but overpriced. And that's what this thing is. So I'm gonna give it an overall rating of seven for Marvel Legends. It's, it's a perfectly fine addition to the Marvel Legends collection. Really needs more paint and a little bit better, better engineering. But yeah, it's fine. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos just about every single day. Actually, they are every day at this point. And thousands of videos already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.